Hey guys, it's Kelvin from Loop Masters here, and today I want to show you how you can use uh, plugins that are uh, emulations of classic drum machines or any type of old drum machine that uh, transmits on general MIDI to trigger new sounds inside of an Ableton drum rack. You'll notice here that I've got um, D16's Drumazon set up, and this is a classic emulation or an emulation of the classic 909. It uses uh, the typical step sequencing uh, to write out your drum beats that you'd be familiar with if you're familiar with that bit of hardware. Uh, there are a few kits inside of the uh, software, and as I say, it's a really cool piece of software, but over time you may become tired of using its built-in sounds. So, did you know that you can use any general MIDI device or software that transmits uh, MIDI out to trigger a drum rack and what that allows you to do obviously is to replace the sounds that you've been using with new sounds inside the Ableton drum rack but still use the same cool features, the step sequencer and so forth that you're used to inside of your drum machine. Now I should mention that you need to be using a VST version of uh, your plugin or uh, obviously hardware version uh, to trigger MIDI out and I mentioned VST because VST sends MIDI out whereas the audio unit version will not. So once you've got a plugin that's uh, set up as a VST and will trigger um, with MIDI out you want to set up your Ableton drum rack and have it to get its MIDI input coming from that particular device. In this particular case I've selected my drum rack to get its MIDI input from Drumazon. Now you'll notice that I've set up uh, channels inside of the rack uh, that are named exactly the same in sequence as the various instruments that you'll find in Drumazon. So we've got our kick, we've got our snares, we've got our toms, rim shots, claps, closed and open hats, crash and ride, and exactly the same thing here. The final step is to make sure that when you're triggering patterns uh, from within your hardware or software version in this case, which is Drumazon, that you are triggering on the right channel. So I want the kick uh, to be triggering the kick here, the snare to be triggering the snare, etc. Um, if you go to the drop down menu for each of the instruments in the drum rack, you'll notice that Ableton have built in something called GM Suggestion. And basically this refers to the general MIDI standard, and that is basically a standard that all old drum machines uh, and emulations of those drum machines are going to be set up on. So uh, what this means basically is that if I want this kick to trigger this kick, inside of the Ableton rack I just select bass drum 1. If I want the snare here to trigger the snare, I would select snare in the general MIDI suggestions and so forth. And what that does essentially is uh, make it so that uh, each of these uh, instruments is triggering on a particular key and you'll notice in this case the kick is coming on C1, snare D1, tom A1, etc. So that's it. You just need to make sure that you're set up to receive on general MIDI and in most cases whatever hardware, old machine that you have, or software should trigger the right instrument. So now what I'll do is I will play back a pattern that I've created uh, inside of Drumazon and it will send its MIDI out and trigger the drum rack inside of Ableton. One of the bonuses about using something like Drumazon to trigger your drum rack is that you can use some of its built-in features like the shift and shuffle functions to add a little bit more groove to your beats. So as I play this beat back, you'll notice that as I modify it with the shuffle on Drumazon, the beat becomes a little bit more groovy. So there very quickly you're able to apply some nice swing or shuffle from Drumazon straight into your drum rack and have that coming out into live. 
so that's it. Uh, I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how you could do that. Um, and I will make the drum rack here available to you so it's already all set up with the general MIDI channels for Drumazon in an ALP file. Uh, if you have Drumazon, uh, when you download that ALP file, everything should open up for you just fine. That's it for today, and have fun with Drumazon and Ableton Drum Racks.